Yo, what's going on guys? Winter Kills here and welcome to a brand new Locals feature match. Here we are in round three for the week. Hopefully you guys are enjoying your Saturday and hope you guys have been enjoying the coverage of the uh, North, Ameri North American Championship. And uh, if you need something to watch in between those very long waiting periods they have in between feature matches, don't worry, I got you. Here we have Dynamorphia on the left versus Mech Knight pure mech knight on the right um pure mech knight obviously many of you guys know is a deck that is near and dear to my heart played it a lot on the channel did one deck one month with it love the deck so really excited to see it here on the feature we're gonna see dynamorphia go first setting four and uh, one of those being an anti-spell fragrance um which uh mech knight you know especially with evenly matched in hand i guess it's not really gonna care too much uh, the main deck evenly matched. Um, that was a card that I was always, always conflicted on with uh, Mech Knight, mainly because the, you know, you you want there to be cards on your opponent's field, ideally more than one sometimes, um, so you can combo with. But I guess with Gearsu being a thing, you really don't need to rely on your opponents nearly as much as you did in the past. But the one card he will keep, right, the one downside, potential in quotes downside of the um card like evenly matched sometimes they keep the best card like we're seeing here Dynam dynamorphia frenzy going for kentrogena and then once his opponent sets another card um in that the same column as kentrogena to attempt to play we're going to see him activate kentrogena banishing frenzy is cost go and copy it pay half and summon out rexstrom in that center column you know since column columns actually do uh matter quite a bit here i think i see the glove in the opening hand the world legacy gauntlet um another mech knight um, I know the War Legacy Whispers is set in the same column as Kentrogena as well. Uh, he might be on to uh, you know potential Mech Knight strategy here, especially when uh, the opponent keeps you know suspiciously setting cards in the same column as cards that you have, even a newly summoned one like the Kentrogena. But now Rex is on f field, so now he cannot activate anything that has 2,000 or higher. Um, at least any monster effects that he controls. Graveyard effects, fine. But anything on the field, like that purple nightfall that looks to be in hand, might be blue sky or purple nightfall. Obviously being at 2,500, will not be able to activate. We'll see him pass turn there. Obviously, after having exhausted his battle phase, opting not to commit anything else to the field here right now, leaving the purple nightfall in hand. You know, he could have summoned that to the board to like potentially try to block damage, but um, at the same time, it's doesn't really look like a winning position here for mech knight we're gonna see him normal summon Zeman, which i think this is like a new tech that he was trying out in the deck like punk dynamorphia i'm not really sure what the punk engine was really supposed to add to the deck other than giving you access to psych again punisher which is kind of cool gives the deck access to a boss monster outside of its traps making it uh i guess you you could argue less um vulnerable to ash which this deck does fold quite a bit to ash on their traps um but uh yeah we're gonna see him head into game two again quick shout out to imperium duelist guys their new uh, Quest Water Dragon deck box coming out on the 29th. Um, I'll throw some pictures up on the screen here. And again, don't forget to use my discount code WINTERKILLS10 off at checkout to save 10% off your entire order when buying that uh, to support the channel. And don't forget to use my affiliate link at TCG Player um, down in the description below as well. So we're going to see him lead here with Punk Plays going into Chaos Ruler here, milling five, getting some Dynamorphia traps into the graveyard. Um, some of the other traps do have valuable effects in the grave. Um, to be able to make it so they don't take any damage from effect damage that turn. Um, so that can come up, especially when you're really, really low in life points. Um, and you need to stop some sort of, you know, burn damage or in-engine burn damage the opponent's deck might have. Which I don't think Mech Knight really has any off the top of my head. Um, now this is against something like Marincess um, or uh, Sword Soul. An effect like that is very, very clutch. We're going to see another evenly match here from our Mech Knight player. That is going to force out a Solemn Judgment. Um, you know, you kind of got to hold everything else on the field. You can't afford to go that minus, uh, especially when you have Punisher up. That's something you want to keep. And the Anti Spell. Like, Anti Spell, not like the best card against um, Mech Knight because they're going to be setting some of their spells anyways. And they just don't technically get to use them that turn. Um, but uh, yeah, pretty, pretty okay sometimes. I think he set a copy of Succession in the same column as the. Uh, anti-spell and obviously they could still give him an opportunity to play with other mech knights if he saw them um it doesn't really hinder the strategy too much so we're just gonna see our dynamorphia player draw for turn go into the battle phase with punisher and i don't think he opted to use punisher's effect um because that punisher would be pretty big i think up to 7800 swinging over the gear suit would have taken more damage than um 17 so i don't think he opted to use the effect of punisher there 
um, probably just a play around sort of back row or um, maybe potential hand traps or something. I don't know exactly what, but I guess just playing it safe. Um, so we're going to see him send another card and pass turn. Uh, we're going to see our Mech Knight player lead with another copy of Gearsu, dumping a copy of World Legacy. Um, what is it? Uh, I actually can't remember. It's not World Legacy Succession. Um, I'm drawing a blank on what the quick play spell is. World Legacy Memory. That's what it is. That's what it is. It's coming back to me now. Ironic that it's same as Memory and I can't remember it. Um, we're going to see an illegal play here of the Lava Golem. Cannot use Lava Golem. Or, well, you can't normal summon the turn you use Lava Golem. So, a um, little bit of a misplay there. You know, he could have uh, Lava golem first, but then his opponent doesn't have two things on the field, so he has to gear Sue first. Um, so, yeah, a little bit of a mistake there. Although, the Lava Golem could definitely put in a lot of work in this matchup, even without the help of gear Sue. So, totally understand why it's in the deck here, especially as, you know, you're going to be going blind second. Imagine them committing to, like, double Rexstrom or, you know, Kentrogena Rexstrom. That Lava Golem is going to put in a lot of work, just unfortunately. You know, you can't really use it in this situation here once you've already committed the normal summon, but it's a pretty good normal summon to commit to in that of gear. So we're going to see blue sky resolve for two here. Really, really strong. Mech Knight getting a lot of momentum once it resolves that blue sky, especially searching two and that gear suit token helping out a ton to get extra advantage. We're going to see him go into lib and then lib effect to go ahead and set one directly from the deck. I'm going to go ahead and set key and I won't be able to use key this turn because of, you know, anti spell and everything. But the other set succession is viable, and I guess yellow clears the, the anti-spell anyways to be able to use, so he'll banish the Gearsu, key will help to add it back, and then we're going to see him link off blue and yellow into Morningstar. Morningstar will discard the glove, go ahead and search, probably for a, I was going to say, it doesn't search a Mech Knight, I wish it did, it searches a World Legacy Spell or Trap, so we're going to see him go ahead and grab the um, World Legacy Secret, summon out Indigo, go for Crusadia Avermax, shuffle back the set card with Lib, and then Avermax is just an absolute house of a card. Um, Avermax can get over pretty much any special summon monster in the game, even Psychic and Punisher, because it does not affect it. We're going to see him, you know, go ahead and use the succession, bring back the Morningstar. You know, that has its own unique abilities uh, on the field, where I think your Mech Knights cannot be destroyed by battle, um, and you take no damage unless they are in the same column as a Mech Knight. Um, so for whatever reason, he wasn't able to get over the Punisher with the, um, Avermax. You know, he wouldn't take any damage and his Mac Knights wouldn't be destroyed, um, simply because of the continuous, like, effect of the Morningstar. Um, but, uh, yeah. Avermax does have a pretty neat line of text on it. Anytime it battles a special summon monster, it just gains the attack of that special summon monster. Um, so it'll gain the 35, getting over it. Even if you use the battle phase effect, wouldn't matter. Still able to get over it. Because um, that happens at the start of the battle phase. Um, and, you know, chains resolve backwards. So it'd be chain link 1 Avermax, chain link 2 Psychic and Punisher if it were to work like that, you know? And it would still gain all that extra attack and get over it by 3,000 regardless. And then the rest of the Mech Knights clean up. We're into a game 3 situation. We're going to see another evenly for Mech Knight. Third game in a row evenly. We're going to see him try to activate Domain here, keeping the best card for last. Obviously, there is an Ash to counter it, but Mech Knight obviously not able to get much going there as he passes turn. No cards left on the field to be able to make columns with. And again, evenly matched, putting a lot of work in against this deck, but uh, it just sucks sometimes. You have to get rid of your columns and you can't play, but I guess at the same time, if your opponent's not playing, you know, I guess it's uh, kind of a win-win. Um, but yeah, we'll see if Dynamorphia can recover here. Gonna normal summon the copy of Diplos and activate its effect. Go ahead and send a Dynamorphia to the graveyard. Sending a copy of Theresia so we can get that in rotation. So if the Diplos dies, it can revive the Theresia. And if the Theresia dies, it can revive the Diplos. You know, help to block some battle damage. We'll get him for 15 with the Diplos, since I believe it has 15 attack. Set to and pass turn. And will there be an anti spell flipped here in the draw or standby phase? It looks like there is not. But. Did not play around columns here. Now, he might have done that unintentionally or maybe did it to allow his opponent to take the bait. And he'll summon Blue Sky to the zone. And it uh, looks like he will strike the summon of Blue Sky. And then he has Secrets to go ahead and actually revive it back here. That's kind of huge. Um, I guess you could argue you could let him wait to use the effect. So in case he had something like Secret, um, you know, he can't uh, just revive it back and use the effect again. But he's got a Blue Sky. And again, that, that free column... Given the opportunity just to summon out Blue Sky there would have been a plus 
uh, you know, double search right there. But he has another Solemn Strike, putting him down to only a thousand. No other place for our Mech Knight player there after getting hit with double Solemn Strike. So he will have to pass turn. We're going to see Galaxy Cyclone on the set of card we haven't seen in a while, but makes sense if you're playing the Chaos Ruler stuff. Back row removal that you can mill to the graveyard to hit out things like Mystic Mine. And then it looks like he will not attack with the Diplos, wanting to put it in defense because he knows the Purple Knight fall is returning and you don't want to lose in the battle phase like that with such a small monster. The Cosmic gets chained, obviously, to the Cyclone, so it does not go to the graveyard for double use to be able to clear the face-up secrets next turn. So I would say that's a smart Cosmic. And then we're going to see the Blue Sky go at, or not the Blue Sky, the Purple Nightfall grab Blue Sky, set one, summon Blue Sky, and uh, yeah, this is looking like a rough spot here for Dynamorphia. Going to go for the Gear Suit, which also doubles as an Orcus monster, Mech Knight Orcus, right? So that'll allow him access to Galatea, which gets him access to Dengirsu, which opens up the field to go for game. That does not allow him to summon back the Theresia, since I believe it has to be destroyed. And that is going to do it. Mech Knight taking it 2-1. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this short little match. And uh, if you did, leave a like. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. But yeah, that's going to wrap it up. Last but not least, a huge shout out goes to our Divine Level channel members who are Tweeter0226, Ponystart, Cadillacs84, Justin Lamb, and HDH Cyber. Thank you guys so much as always for extremely kind and generous support of the channel.